What's up, Wiz Nation, Wiz fans? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Camingo. You know, I'm still recovering. Still recovering. From what just... What the hell happened to the Wizards? What the hell just happened? I'm like, we blew a 35-point lead to the Clippers. Like, what just happened? Like... In all my years, my tw- 20 years, 21 years as a Die Hard Wizards fan, I've never seen Cloud like that before in my life. Never. I see me blow 20 point lead, but not a 35 point lead. Never. I'm like, this will go down in, one my, in, in all my years as a Wizards fan as one of the most, you know what I'm saying? One of the most demoralizing defeats. I ever seen in my life as a Wiz fan. One of the most demoralizing feats I've seen. Like, I don't know what just happened right there. Now, we're going to talk about the game and we're, and also we're going to talk about what we should do for our lineup because it is getting predictable. Our lineups for the past, I don't know how many weeks, it's become predictable right now at this point. Ever since we, we came back together, the whole team got the better got back together. It's been predictable. So I'm gonna talk about the game right now. Beginning game, we jumped out to a 26 to 8 lead. I'm like, I'm like, I said, okay, okay, I'm like, all right, I'm like, I'm like, this is the team that we uh we wanna see because remember because last time we would play. We got hammered by Boston because that Boston game, we had no ur- urgency. But this game, the beginning game, this Clippers game, we did have urgency. T- turned out to a huge lead, and then we and Clippers one point cut out to nine because we were sloppy in the, in the late in the first quarter. But that second quarter, like the first six six seven minutes of the game, we went on a twenty four to two run. To go up by a minute, like what, 28, whatever it was, almost 30 points. And I'm like, this game is basically over. Because when you go on a huge run like that, you can tell this game is basically over. And then I see, I see we're up 35. I'm like, oh, yeah. This game is over. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I might be done wa- be done watching the game. Because, you know, I don't enjoy blowouts. As much as I as win or lose as a Wiz fan, I do not enjoy beatdowns. On time, enjoy beat downs and we'll be, be a very good elite team. But because the Clippers team that that didn't hold on, they didn't have they didn't have Kawhi Leonard or PG. That's all I want to say. They had no Kawhi and PG, and we lost the game. And I'm like, okay, it's over. Then we about thirty points after I said, I said, should I start watching or or team, or team watching this beat down? So I I'm in there. I'm like, I said, flip flop the TV. I was like, all right. Then so I'll cut, cut down to the to 25, I said, you know what? I'm just keep on watching. I'm going to be to watch because I said, they better not blow this game. Cause I'm like, you know what I mean? And then it was down to 17 going to the fourth quarter. And then I said, you know what? Is that same fourth quarter? Should I continue watching? And I'm like, hmm, let's flip out and watch basketball. You know what I'm saying? And then we got down to nine. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no, no. Because you know, when you're down 30 points, and the team called about the dancing digits, you know it's about to get real. And then that fourth quarter, like we were going back and forth, we were trying to hold hold on the lead. Cause both teams we were going to the foul line a, a, a lot. We were going back and forth, back and forth. Clips on turning back. And then hit Bill, hit a clutch three, hit had an and one, and then KCP got done. We we went up eight with four seconds to go. And then here can collapse. They got an e- e- easy uh, bucket. I can't remember who it was. That we miss. I think uh, Kuzma and Harold miss one out of two free throws. That's combined two or four. And then Luke Kennard hit a D3, a, tw- a 30 footer. And then we had a five second violation call. I'm like, oh, I said, oh no. And then here came the collapse, it was complete. And Brock, they said, don't foul, don't foul. Glenn Consar said that. And then, what did Bill freaking do? Foul. Luke Kennard on a D3, and one, boom. And I'm like, 
I'm like, no way. And then one second go, Kuzma try to heave it down court. Cause you know, we had no timeouts. Or do, so what did they just heave it? And will see if something happens. And then turn them over. And then that was it. I don't want to go to the player stats. I'm going to go to what happened. We were outscored in the second half. 80 to 49. In the second half. 80 49. And when is the time you see a team score 80 points in the second half? You see eight in the first half, but not in the second half. And get this. Three star Clippers didn't come back in the game. Uh, Ray Jackson never came back in. Ivanka Zubak never came back in the game. And Batum never came back in the game. They went with whoever. And what happened? They beat us. And we thought it was like, oh, this is easy, easy win. You know what I'm saying? But we collapse. Like I said before, one of the most demoralizing defeats I've seen. Now, and also, real quick, didn't have a, I realized, didn't have Marcus Morris. One of the key guys on the team. So, no PG, no Kawhi, Marcus Morris. I, I should have known about that. They had, three, basically, they had the three best players. Morris. Kawhi and Paul didn't play, and we lost. This was a disappointing homestand, an aching homestand that I've seen from this team. We went a, a bad three and five. The three wins were against the Thunder, the Magic, and the Sixers. Now we sh we we should have won that. Uh, to me, we should have won that Toronto game. Cause I was there. We we should have won that Toronto game because we were stopping the. The ball, turn the ball over. Two games we overlooked overlooked our opponents as Boston and Portland. Cause Portland had no Dame and CJ. And what happened? That Simon's guys came and killed us in the first half and they were quiet second half. And Boston, I knew it was gonna be a track game. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be a track game for that team. What happened? Tatum put a 50. 50. 50. And we lost by 30 points to Boston. And and that broken game, I'm gonna get to the point. We didn't talk about the broken game. We got robbed by the ref when the assistant coach from the Nets stuck his hand out and disrupted a pass attended to Kuzma, and referee was sitting was right there in front of him, in front of him. It didn't call nothing. So, and real quick before we move to the headlines, the next day, the next day. Uh, they came out with a, the last minute report that the, the canard foul sh should not have counted. And I'm like, why did you lay it down on us at this moment when we blew a third point lead? Like, why? Like, why did you do it to us? Only us to, to get a job by the referees. Like, why did you come to report with that one after they blew a th third point lead? To me, that's just, that is, that is wrong. Completely wrong, and that's not right, and that's too bad. That is too bad. Now I get to the, the, these uh these rotations that's been going on. I'm like, I'm in shock. Uh, shock. First first lineup. Why play Big Gaffer Thomas game? Like he gets you eight early first half points. Next thing you know, doesn't come back in all in the, in the first half. Second half, he scores two or four points. After that. Doesn't come back in, game. Doesn't come back in. He's your best rim protector. You need him for defensive plays at the end. Play him in the fourth quarter. Don't like you're treating Gaffer like Alex Lynn, which Alex was start was starting our team last year, and Gaffer on the bench. So why are you treating Gaffer like he's Alex Lynn, which he's not? So I'm thinking saying this, it's probably a showcase for. Uh, Brian and Harold, because you know, one of those two might be the tra trade line, so it could be a showcase of who stays and who goes on the deadline. Now, this line, this lineup, I think we should make a line change to me, in my opinion. I think Bill should be the point guard before the deadline. I think it should be Bill, Kisper, KCP, Kuz, and Gaffer. And put Dimwitty in second unit. I think Dimwitty, I think he plays better second unit than the other first unit. Because Dimwitty and Bill, those two together, 
still up didn't match at all. I didn't some fans that didn't expect this to happen, but it's happening right in front of us because it's clearly not working. Because once I still need to get his act together, because these these rotations are bothering me right now, and we should play Rui more minutes. I know he's he just came back a couple weeks ago. Give him more minutes, please. Give him at least at least twenty twenty five minutes now, please. And put Kuz and Gaffer, not Gaffer, put Kuz and Rui together. I want to see them two play together. Put uh, Rui at small four and Kuz at pop four. See what happens. And you never know. It could work because where it was so do doing is not working. Now, I'm going to get to this, this, the next couple games before the deadline. Look at our schedule. We got to play. We got to play the Grizzlies Saturday, the Bucks two, next Tuesday. Sixers next Wednesday, the Suns next Saturday, the Heat uh, on the 7th, and the Nets on the 10th. That's the day of the deadline. Those six games are brutal. You got to go against John Moran, Giannis, and B, the Suns who are best in the NBA, the Miami best in this conference, and the Brooklyn Nets. Daunting. So, if we lose all those games... Because we're like in 10th place in the Eastern Conference right now. If we don't win all those games, season could be dead. And we're in 10th in the Eastern Conference. And these teams, like the Knicks and Hawks, Pacers, whatever, they're on our tail. So that 10th three star, we were rah, 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 whatever it is. We we're like, woohoo, we're number we just got. And then next you know, it's coming apart right before our, before our eyes. That tells me. After that game, that Clippers game, after that game, somebody is getting traded. So stay tuned February 10th in two weeks for the deadline because I cannot wait for that to happen. Hopefully, we'll turn things around like like last year when we got Gaffer. So, Wiz fans, just be patient. Just wipe this debacle out of your mind and, and move on. We got a tough Memphis team coming up. Going to John Moran. We beat them last time. Who knows? We got we had three days off, so we should be well rested and ready to go. Cause we gotta win at least three of these games. Out of, out of these next six games before the deadline. We win three of them, then we have a shot. So after this this disappointing home stand we got. So keep the faith going, Wiz Nation. Because I believe in y'all, especially you, Wizards, the team, and West Hunter Jr. Just do something, please. Just win some ball games, P Pretty please. So, that's it for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all know the deal. Follow me on Twitter, at Cam Mingo. See you on Instagram. My Wiz page, Twitter, at Wiz Nation. And Instagram, Nation underscore Wiz. Thank y'all. Good night. Peace.